Hey, what up, guys? You know the date, so you know the place. It's 13 on 13 for April 2016. We were a little slow with the updates last month, but we've more than made up for it this month. We've got a lot. We've got film news, video game news, even a little music and merchandise news. So let's not waste any time, and let's get right into it. First up, what everyone wants, film news, finally. According to Friday13thFilmFranchise.com, link below, Paramount Pictures has till the end of this month to have a script approved so they can begin shooting by the end of summer so they can have their new Friday 13th film released by January 13th of 2017. Lots of numbers and it's very confusing, I know, but it is exciting because finally we're talking about scripts, we're talking about release dates, and they keep getting pushed back. But if they don't reach this deadline, then the rights are going to go back to New Line Cinema, and hopefully maybe they'll make their own Friday the 13th film. So either Paramount or New Line, we will definitely, hopefully, maybe, fingers crossed, have a new film in the next year or so. We also found out that the new film at Paramount is going to be a period piece. It's it's going to take place hopefully in the 80s. They haven't came out and said that, but 90s wouldn't make sense. And we already know Jason and slashers with modern teens. It doesn't really work out. Give me Jason in the 80s and it will kick ass. In video game news, a lot. There is constant updates for this game, which is awesome. And it, it looks absolutely amazing. Gun Media actually released a small teaser trailer on their YouTube channel about a week ago. It's, it's kind of low quality and it's not much, but it's already enough to, to give us goosebumps and get us even more excited. Other exciting news is that three new skins were announced for the game. Jason Takes Manhattan, Jason Goes to Hell, and Jason Lives. Cannot wait to see these. They're actually going to be spot on because the Friday 13th Prop Museum um, sent pictures, scans, everything of, of the real props, the real masks, and sent to Gun Media, the, the video game makers. This game is going to be amazing. It's going to be the closest thing to actually being in a real Friday the 13th movie. Cannot wait. And lastly, a little bit of merchandising news. We're getting a Roy mask in July. NECA plans on releasing the trademark blue mask seen in Friday 13th and New Beginning. And it's crazy because, you know, years ago people just crapped all over that movie. They wanted nothing to do with it. They hated it. And now it's kind of the opposite. And it's kind of a fan favorite. And we're getting Roy hockey mask out. Still pretty cool though. I want one. And we kind of skipped over this one last month. It was pointed out by one of our viewers in our comment section below. Awesome, our viewers are awesome. Thanks for that. Um, Waxworks Records has actually released a Friday 13th Part 3 soundtrack uh, on vinyl. And it looks awesome. Um, all their stuff they've done in the past is, is awesome, looks great, and this is no exception. This might actually be their best. I mean, I love the artwork. Um, it comes in two different uh, special editions, deluxe editions, I think. Link below where you guys can go and snag that if you're interested. It looks awesome. Go ahead and grab one. And that's your Friday 13th news update for April of 2016. Guys, stay tuned with us. Check out next month and the next month and the next month because as we get nearer to the video game coming out and now that the movie is kind of rolling and getting a little steam behind it, uh, lots more news is coming out. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, check us out on Facebook, all that social media stuff that everyone else does. We do it too, so see you guys next month. Thanks for watching.